Hi, in this video we're going to look at uh, quadratic sequences. Now the only difference is, is that you don't actually get the title when it comes to a question on an exam paper. So you've got to kind of figure out firstly that it is a quadratic sequence and then there is a method which I'm going to show you which is fairly straightforward in order to determine what they call the nth term. So the way to determine that it is a quadratic sequence is the first difference in this particular case is going to be minus 4, minus 6, and minus 8. So therefore, it isn't a common difference on arithmetic sequence. It's going to have an n squared term. Okay, so if you're not sure about what I'm talking about, okay, then please do have a look at some of the other videos within the playlist. In this particular case, what we're trying to do is we're trying to uh, create a quadratic nth term sequence where we've got n squared here and that's because of this isn't a common difference but the second difference is okay so we've now got um, a situation where we've got all of the information required in order to be able to calculate the nth term formula. Now I do this slightly differently and there are some videos that um, you can have a look at that um, uh, will offer you different ways on how to do this. In my particular case I tend to use the formula method where what I say is that this minus 2 is the equivalent to 2a. OK, if it's the equivalent to 2a, it means in this particular case that a must be 1, or rather minus 1. OK, so 2a is minus 2, so therefore a is going to be minus 1, because it's the same as saying minus 2 divided by 2. OK, the next bit of it is this minus 4. And what I say there is that 3a plus b equals minus 4. Okay, so now because I know the value of a, I can just plug that information into the formula and I can calculate level b. So I've got 3a plus b equals minus 4. I know my value of a is 3 times minus 1 plus b equals minus 4. So that's going to be minus 3 plus b equals minus 4. Okay, now I need to bring this minus 3 over to the right-hand side. If I do that, it's going to become plus b, so therefore I'm going to say that b equals minus 1. So now I've got my value of b, which is minus 1. Okay, the final little piece of the jigsaw is to figure out the value of c. Now in this particular case, my next formula I use is a plus b plus c, and that equals, in this case, the first difference, or the first number, which is 19. Okay, so let's calculate that. So I've got a plus b plus c equals 19. Now I've got my two values, of or one value of a and one value of b, so I can plug those straight in. a is minus 1, and then b is minus 1 as well plus c equals 19. So minus 1 minus 1 is going to give me minus 2, plus c equals 19. So if I add 2 to both sides, I get c equals 21. So my value of c is going to be 21. So I can write out now the nth term for this formula as minus n. Remember, I don't need to write minus 1n squared. I can just write minus n squared. And again, plus bn is going to be minus 1b. So I'm just going to write that as minus n. And then I'm also going to write plus 21. And that would be the formula for the nth term. OK. Hope that's OK for you. It's, um, it's a method that I personally like. I think it's great, providing you remember these particular equations. OK, so it's a bit like remembering the quadratic formula. It's one of those things you just need to remember. OK, the second part of this particular question is calculate the tenth term of this sequence. Now, we've got to be a little bit careful here because the tenth term means I'm going to replace the n with 10. OK, so I get that because what I'm saying is, is that rather than writing n squared, I'm going to write 10 
squared. And then rather than writing minus n, I'm going to write minus 10 and then plus 21. OK, so do be careful here because um, we need to do the uh, indice first. So 10 times 10 is going to be 100. 10 squared is 100. And then with a minus in front of it, it's not the same as saying minus 10 squared. It's minus in front of 10 squared. So it's a little bit tricky to kind of remember how we're going to work these things out. But we'll get minus 100 minus 10 plus 21. And I work that out. I'm going to get minus 89. OK, so therefore the 10th term in this particular sequence is going to be equal to minus 89. OK, I hope that's helpful for you. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. Have a look at the other videos within this particular playlist and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.